Click the bell, turn on all notifications, and subscribe for around-the-clock WWE news in real time. The home of the most consistent and dedicated breaking news in WWE, Sean's View Ends, is here for you. Like, comment, and share today. Now, we are all aware that we lost the ninth one of the world, one of the greatest girls, women, female, divas, whatever you want to call it. We know we lost China. And we know the significance and the prominence in the history that she made in the WWE, whether it was being the first ever intercontinental champion that was a woman, whether it was being in D-Generation X with Triple H and Shawn Michaels and even the late, great, ravishing Rick Rude. But now, ladies and gentlemen, there is a, uh, and again, China should go into the Hall of Fame as her own, as herself, by, by herself. She definitely deserves it, and she's earned it, and it's really sad and bad that, you know, the WWE and, you know, even Triple H had to cheat, treat China the way that they did. You know, Triple H talks about China having to do Playboy and doing all these sex acts and all these other different things, but yet there was Triple H doing the DX chop all those years and showing off his ass and his backside and doing all these, you know, outlandish things but you know but China has returned yes China has returned but the doppelganger because online if you can find it online through the dirt sheets the websites google it photo it it's all over the online dirt sheets it's all over online China's doppelganger has reunited with the 123 kid aka X-Pac of Degeneration X viewers fans and subscribers and this girl this woman this female looks very much identical uh, to to China. Nobody can replace China. Nobody can reenact China. Nobody can take China's place. But I guess this would be the next best thing. And again, that photo, that image can definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, be found online. Also, we got not one, but two WWE stars who say they will never, ever return again to a wrestling ring. Ladies and gentlemen, according to those in the know and according to the interviews, it would appear as if, now we listen, we all thought CM Punk would never return to the WWE, but I said it for years and years and years. I said it to anybody that would listen, and nobody listened. Sean, you're wrong. You're clickbait. You're fake. You don't know what you're talking about. CM Punk will never come back. CM Punk will never return. Well, he did return. Yes, it took a while. It took a long time, but he did return. But there's two other stars that say they will never, ever return to the WWE. Actually, no, there's three. There's three. There is three now coming through my desk, guys. Three right now. Rowdy Ronda Rousey. And what are your thoughts? Do you like Rowdy Ronda Rousey? Were you for her? Were you against her? Were you a fan of her? What are your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions of Rowdy Ronda Rousey and her never returning to the WWE ever again? And what about Ryback? Ryback never returning to the WWE ever again. And then another report just went out. No matter what goes down with Vince McMahon, Vince McMahon will never return to the WWE ever again. That just that doesn't sound right. Listen, I know there's a lot of accusations. There's a lot of damnation. There's a lot of catastrophes going on with Vince McMahon right now. And I get that and I understand that. But it just doesn't seem right. It doesn't feel right that Vince McMahon will never, ever again return to World Wrestling Entertainment. But again, that goes along with Ryback and Rowdy Ronda Rousey. And Rowdy, Rowdy Ronda Rousey's book's going to be coming out. Listen. You can say and think what you want about Rowdy Ronda Rousey, but she brought credibility and legitimacy to the women's division. You might say she botched. She might not have been the most professional, but she she brought that demand to the women's division. She made it realistic. And and again, listen, I was a fan of Rowdy Ronda Rousey. She was dominant in UFC until a point, until she got her ass knocked out. She got her ass handed to And I get it, and I understand that, and I'm going to call a speed of speed. I'm going to call it the way it is here on Sean's View Entertainment. But ladies and gentlemen, upon all of that, listen to this massive update coming through on the brash in the brazen, where we, where we give you the significance. Yes, and now Ronda Rousey is actually bashing the WWE. Also, Drew McIntyre calls out Seth Rollins for being a false leader. Who do you want to win at WrestleMania, Drew McIntyre, or do you want Seth Rollins to reclaim and regain and re and uh, retain? Excuse me, retain the gold. Also, Drew McIntyre addresses Damian Priest possibly cashing in at WrestleMania 40 after Drew McIntyre wins the world title. Again, Drew McIntyre is saying it's a formality. He's going to win it. There's no doubt in my mind that Drew McIntyre is going to walk out the world champion. That's what his, and he's, st he's sticking to it. Also, another guy, oh, wait a minute, just come to my desk. Another guy we, ne we, we may never see in WWE ever again. Goldberg recalls wanting to rip Triple H's face off in the WWE. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that. 
Also, breaking news, John Moxley's noticeable absence from AEW television. Yes, guys, there it is. John Moxley's notable, there it is, because everyone calls me clickbait and fake. There's a lot of rumors and speculation that Moxley might be let go. He might be fired. He might be released, and he may be on his way back to the WWE because Moxley has been absent, and he has not been seen in AEW for quite some time. And there's a lot of rumors and speculation that now that Vince is not in charge, Vince isn't in control and Moxley had a pretty good repertoire. With, he had a big uh, rapport. He had a good rapport with Triple H. It seems like Moxley, there's a chance, there's a chance that Moxley could come back. Now, Moxley, now, the other wrestlers we talked about earlier, the other wrestlers I talked about earlier said, oh, they'll never come back, they'll never return. Well, there is a chance, there is a possibility that John Moxley will come back. Would you want to see John Moxley back in the WWE? Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Ryback gives Ronda Rousey's stamp of anti-approval after her anti-WWE remarks towards the company. And Mercedes Monet was swarmed by fans after her AEW Dynamite appearance just last night. And ladies and gentlemen, Team Lay Cool received support for a WWE return. Do you want to see Team Lay Cool return to World Wrestling Entertainment? Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Also, there is a contrasting of styles between Triple H and Vince McMahon in booking heel turns as it concerns the heel turns, the booking, the bad guys in the WWE. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. And, ladies and gentlemen, just coming through the desk of Sean's View Entertainment, we keep it true and old school for all of you, whether it be new or vintage. John Laurinaitis has been given a deadline to respond to the, to the Janelle Grant lawsuit. And Damian Priest labels Dominic Mysterio as an underrated WWE superstar. In breaking news on Monday Night Raw, WWE sees a surge in ticket sales for Monday's Raw in Chicago after promoting CM Punk. Yes, the ticket sales are surging. They are going up. Now, people are going bananas. People are going crazy about the return of CM Punk. And Dakota Kai reveals a surprising name for her WrestleMania showdown. And The Rock is accused of stealing Final Boss moniker. The Rock is now being accused of stealing the Final Boss moniker. And LA Knight talks about the importance of staying vigilant in the WWE. And ladies and gentlemen, listen to this one. Just come through my desk. Eric Bischoff would be surprised if Steve Austin doesn't appear at WrestleMania 40. Again, a lot of rumors and speculation that WWE wants all hands on deck at WrestleMania 40. If, if it's just even an appearance or a camo appearance or, or uh, up on the Titan Tron backstage, something where all the past legends, all the past Hall of Famers like Stone Cold, The Undertaker, The Rock, Kane all show up. Even Ric Flair's name has been thrown out there. Again, there and guys, for those of you that don't know, there there is the China doppelganger right there, guys. The China doppelganger, X Pac and the China doppelganger make a surprise appearance together. And WWE Hall of Famer Alpha of the Wild Samoan surgery date has been finally set. And my well wishes go out to Alpha. Also, Xavier Woods convinced that Roman Reigns will lose to Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania 40. Are you convinced of that? At the end of the day. And ex WWE star Mandy Rose reveals her ideal choice for toxic attraction. A lot of rumors and speculation about the return of Mandy Rose to the WWE. Your thoughts, your comments, your opinions. Sean V. Damon gives it to you the hottest, the latest, the greatest, the newest, the most definitive. For it for you, there would be no Sean's freaking view. And we come through when the lights are absolutely on bright.